Hello everyone, you are welcome to solve this nice exponential equation, which is x plus 3 raised to the power 6. This is equal to 2 to the power 6. What is the value of x? Now, let's prevent the solution here. We have x plus 3 raised to the power 6. This is equal to 2 to the power 6. So the first thing to do here, let's take 2 to the power 6 on the left hand side. So that we have x plus 3 raised to the power 6, subtract 2 to the power 6, this is equal to 0. The next step is that x plus 3 to the power 6 can be expressed as x plus 3 to the power 3, then raised to the power 2, then subtract 2 to the power 6, which you can express as 2 to the power 3, raised to the power 2, this is equal to 0. Now, this equation is in the form of a squared minus b squared, which is the difference of two perfect squares, which you can express as a plus b, then a minus b. From this equation here, a is equal to x plus 3 raised to the power 3, and b is equal to 2 to the power 3. Therefore, a plus b this is equal to x plus 3 raised to power 3, then plus 2 to power 3. This is equal to 0. So this implies that this is the first equation here. And that a minus b, this can be expressed as x plus 3 raised to power 3, then subtract 2 to power 3. This is equal to 0. Let's call this equation 2. Let's solve equation 1. Let's call this case 1. So from case 1, we have x to the power 3, raised to the power 3, then plus 2 to the power 3. This is equal to 0. Now, this equation is in the form of a to the power 3 plus b to the power 3. This is the sum of two cubes, which we can express as a plus b, a squared minus ab plus b squared. Applying this property, then here we have x plus 3, then plus 2. Then here we have x plus 3 raised to power 2. Subtract 2 times x plus 3, then plus 2 squared, which is equal to 4. This is equal to 0. The next step is that we have x plus 3 plus 2, this is 5. Then here we have x plus 3 squared. This can be expressed as x squared plus 6x, then plus 3 squared, which is equal to 9. Then subtract minus 2 times x, this is minus 2x, minus 2 times plus 3, this is minus 6. Then plus 4, close the bracket, this is equal to 0. The next step is that we have two parts here. The first part is x plus 5. This is equal to 0. And the second part here, we have x to the power 2. Then 6x minus 2x. This is plus 4x. Then we have 9 minus 6, which is equal to 3. Then 3 plus 4. This is equal to 7. So plus 7. This is equal to 0. So we have two parts here. From the first part, we have x1 is equal to minus 5. So this is the value of x1. Then the second part here is the quadratic equation of the form ax squared plus bx plus c. This is equal to 0. From this quadratic equation, a is equal to 1, b is equal to 4, and c is equal to 7. So to solve for x2, comma x3, we apply the quadratic formula, that's minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2 times a. Let's substitute the values of a, b, and c. So here we have minus 4 plus or minus the square root of b squared, which is 4 squared minus 4 times a, which is 1. 10 times c, which is 7. 
all this divided by 2 times 1. So therefore here we have minus 4 plus or minus the square root of 4 squared which is equal to 16 subtract 7 times 4 which is equal to 28 divided by 2. So here we have minus 4 plus or minus the square root of 16 minus 28. This is minus 12 over 2. So in this case, we have minus 4 plus or minus. We can express the square root of minus 12 as 4 times 3 times minus 1. All this divided by 2. So this implies that here we have minus 4 plus or minus the square root of 4. This is 2. The square root of minus 1. This is i, then divided by 2. Then we have here square root of 3. So this implies that 2 here is common. We can factor out 2. So we have 2 into the parentheses. We have minus 2 plus or minus 2i square root of 3. Close the bracket. Divided by 2. So if you simplify here, we have that x2 comma x3, this is equal to minus 2 plus or minus 2i square root of 3. So this is x2 and x3. These are two complex solutions. These are two complex solutions. Now let's proceed to case 2. Let's proceed to case 2. Now, in case 2, we have x, x plus 3, raised to power 3, then subtract 2 to power 3, this is equal to 0. Now, we find that this equation is the difference of two cubes, expressed as a to power 3, minus b to power 3, which we can express as a minus b, a squared plus ab, plus b squared. Now applying this identity from here, we have x plus 3, subtract 2, close the bracket, and then here we have x plus 3, raised to power 2, then plus 2 times x plus 3, then plus 2 squared, which is equal to 4, this is equal to 0. Now this implies that here we have x, 3 minus 2, this is plus 1. And then here we have x squared plus 6x plus 3 squared, which is 9. Then plus 2 times x, this is 2x. Then plus 3 times 2, this is 6. Then plus 4 here, this is equal to 0. Now this implies that we have x plus 1 here. Here we have x squared, 6x plus 2x, this is 8x. Then we have that 6 plus 4, this is 10, plus 9, this is 19. Close the bracket here, this is equal to 0. So this implies that we have two parts here. The first part is x plus 1, this is equal to 0. The second part here is x to power 2 plus 8x plus 19 this is equal to 0 now the second part here is a quadratic equation of the form ax squared plus bx plus c this is equal to 0 from this quadratic equation we have that a is equal to 1 b is equal to 8 and c is equal to 19 so this implies that x5 comma x6 can be solved by applying the quadratic formula that's minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2 times a. Let's substitute the values of a, b, and c here. So this is minus 8 plus or minus the square root of b squared, which is 8 squared, which is 64. Subtract 4 times a, which is 1, then times c, which is 19. 
divided by 2 times 1. So therefore here we have minus 8 plus or minus the square root of, this is 64, subtract 19 times 4, this is 76, all this divided by 2. So this implies that here we have minus 8 plus or minus the square root of 64 minus 76. This is minus 12 over 2. So here we have minus 8 plus or minus. We can express minus 12 as 4 times 3, then times minus 1 divided by 2. So this implies that here, this is minus 8 plus or minus the square root of 4 here, this is 2, the square root of minus 1, this is i, then square root of 3 over 2. Now, this implies that from here, 2 is common here, so we can factor out 2, so that now, here we have 2 into the parentheses, this is minus 4 plus or minus i square root of 3 divided by 2. So this essentially implies that x5, comma x6, this is equal to minus 4 plus or minus i square root of 3. So this is the value of x5 and x6. So this implies that we have six solutions. We have six solutions to this exponential problem. So x1, x1 from here is minus 5. x2, comma x3, this is equal to minus 2 plus or minus 2i square root of 3. And we have that x4 is essentially equal to minus 1 x5 comma x6 this is minus 4 plus or minus i square root of 3 so this totals to six solutions to this algebra problem